Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate your Active Directory domain controllers to Microsoft Azure Stack. Okay, here we are on an existing on-prem domain controller. Um, you can see we have existing users and groups already uh, in that domain controller. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a new domain controller on Azure Stack um, and basically use that one. So what we could do is we could go to the marketplace on Azure Stack, um, look for the new Windows Server marketplace item, deploy that, join that to the domain and then promote it. So you can see here in the marketplace, you can find a ton of uh, available Windows Server marketplace items uh, with different versions. Um, you could actually deploy. However, we could also use uh, Azure ARM templates for Azure Stack. So as you could do in Azure, you can do the same thing in Azure Stack. So we have these Azure Stack quick start templates, uh, which enable a bunch of different scenarios, uh, which allow you to automatically deploy um, things on Azure Stack using infrastructure as code, for example, even a new domain with two new domain controllers or join a server to an existing domain. So you're always going to use that one. Uh, and you can see here, um, we can scroll down and we can see here the deployment steps. So you could deploy it from the Azure Stack portal. You could use Visual Studio or you could use basically PowerShell uh, to deploy um, your server and join into an existing domain. Now, in my case, we will use um, the Azure portal to show you that. So I'm going to quickly click on that specific template. I'm going to simply copy that. Again, you could also download it um, to your machine. And then I'm going to create a new resource based on a template. So I create a template deployment. And then I basically enter that, deploy, uh, that template here. So just copy paste it. Save it. Edit the parameters. So I tell them, okay, what's the VM name? In that way, as we call it. Azure Stack Domain Controller 2, username, password, give it a resource group name, try it to an existing virtual network, existing subnet, and then give it the existing domain name, and give it the username with permissions um, to basically join that server to the domain. Again, select the resource group, I want to deploy it, click on create, and this now will deploy a new Windows server and directly join it to the specific domain. Of course, you need to set up networking and everything, so basically and DNS, so the deployment can resolve the name of the domain. When the server is deployed, you can see here, I have my domain controller deployed here on Azure Stack. Uh, what I can do now is I could simply connect um, to that domain controller. Click the RDP file, connect. And now I can already use my domain credentials to log in because the server is already domain joined, join that. You can see that um, this domain control, this server is already joined to the domain. So what I'm going to do now is simply uh, add the domain controller feature uh, and basically join the uh, promote this domain this server to a domain controller as I would do uh, in other scenarios as well. So here we are back after installation of the main services and the promotion of this server. So you can see we have now two domain controllers, the existing one from the on-prem environment and the new one deployed on Azure Stack. And you can also see that we now have all the users and groups uh, we had on the existing domain uh, available here as well. So a couple of things you could do now, you can obviously, if you don't need them anymore, remove uh, the other domain controller, uh, demote it. Um, or you can keep it running depending on the scenario you're in. Uh, a couple of things I also want to mention is that 
If you deploy a domain controller to Azure or Azure Stack, make sure you follow the best practices to configure that specific server. Um, but this video really shows you the power of Azure Resource Manager and the ARM templates to deploy servers and services on Azure, but also on Azure Stack as well.